The process of transcription is the synthesis of an mRNA strand from the DNA strand template. But because there are two strands of DNA, but only one strand of mRNA, that means in every DNA double helix, there is a template strand and a nonsense strand. The template strand has the relevant genetic code that will be transcribed into RNA, whereas the nonsense strand doesn't have relevant genetic information and it only plays a role in DNA replication. RNA polymerase will synthesize mRNA from the DNA template strand just as DNA polymerase synthesizes DNA during DNA replication. And each of the DNA nucleotides pairs with one of the RNA nucleotides. As we said before, guanine will always pair with cytosine, and uracil will always pair with adenine. So through the principle of complementarity, this is how the mRNA will be synthesized um, with the correct genetic information. So after mRNA is transcribed, it's not actually ready to travel to the cytoplasm just yet. It's first processed or edited by a series of enzymes, because not all of the mRNA strand codes for proteins. It's riddled with sections of unnecessary nucleotides that need to be removed. So for example, let's say um, this section of mRNA needs to be removed, and the non-coding regions that are removed are called introns. Introns in for interfering regions, and the regions that actually travel out of the nucleus are called exons for exon X for being expressed or expressed regions. So introns interfering, exons expressed. After RNA processing is complete, the mRNA strand is shipped out of the nucleus.